who's been in the program since its existence uh, seven years ago and has achieved 50 individual tests with a perfect test history. Uh, a few years ago, we started giving this recognition for situations just like this, so we can go into a town, into a country, and tell people about what these athletes go through to show the world that they're clean. Um, this is very much an international program. Rob's a perfect example of that uh, in Australia. Um, the United States Anti-Doping Agency, or USADA, runs our program, um, but they contract out with other national anti-doping authorities. Um, USADA, Australian uh, Anti-Doping Authority, tests Rob most of the time. Uh, here in France, we actually have an AFLD, France's National Anti-Doping Authority, make collections from our French athletes. Uh, they'll actually have a presence at our fight on Saturday. Um, in terms of Rob, you know, I, I like looking as I give these presentations to how these athletes have performed, and I don't think there's any doubt. You look at his success that has come under this program, and you know, he was the interim middleweight champion. Uh, for seven years, he's been fighting at a championship level, still is, all the while you know, showing the world that he's clean. Uh, the real strength of this program is that these athletes are subject to testing 365 days a year, literally 24 hours a day. Uh, it's no advance notice testing, so the athlete doesn't know in advance that the tester's coming. The UFC doesn't even know in advance that the tester's coming. And when you put you know, together over a seven year period, 50 perfect tests, uh, I don't think there's a better example you know, of, of a clean athlete. Um, you know, I spent some, prior to coming to the UFC, I actually spent some time in this country. Um, I was a federal agent in the United States and actually investigated uh, professional cycling here, uh, specifically Lance Armstrong and the US Postal Cycling Team. And I don't think there's any doubt what came out of that investigation, probably the biggest fraud and cheater in the history of sports. Well, you can't say that about the UFC athlete, and you can't say that in any way, shape, or form about Rob Whitaker. He's put a body of work and a body of evidence together, both performance in the octagon and outside of this anti-doping program, showing that he's done it with two things, what he was born with and a tremendous, tremendous amount of hard work. So Rob, congratulations on this. 50 time jacket here. Cool. I thought maybe you put the, uh, the Bobby Knuckles on the uh, thing, but you wanted the, the Reaper there, huh? <laughs> That's my name. Yeah. It looks great, my man. Congratulations Thank and thanks for much. everything, man. Appreciate really appreciate it. it. John, so I guess close for a picture. Okay. Cool. Thank you very much, Mike. Uh, got it. Uh, Rob's going to go up here, but I'll be available after if anyone has any questions about our program. Uh, happy to answer that and any questions you guys may have. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff.